Hey guys, welcome to Software Inc, where today we're starting off in the 2000s, finally, properly, you know, we're actually in that 2000s era, and we're going to be coming into this with a bit of optimism and, realistically, a lot of goals. <laughs> you know, it's the 2000s, two violations, I'm intrigued. Okay, um, game... Where's the exit violation here? Okay, they can get up here, get up here, get up here, up here, up here, up there. So it's saying there's a... Let me read this. Hang on. Elevators can't be used during a fire. Stairs need to be used. Okay. I will presume this is a bug. And rightfully so, I'll install some more stairs. Okay, and we'll call the inspector back in, because I don't see how there's not a connection there. You can see for yourself. Stairs, goes up to here, up the next floor, up the next floor. And I'm going to go along the line, I mean it's said two floors of violations. Alright, now we have a sprinkler in here, we have two fire alarms in here. Double the amount needed for the space, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that my employees aren't worth the fire extinguishing abilities, but... There is an extra cost there. Okay, what am I going to do quickly? I'm going to do that and that. Okay, the inspector has just done that stairway. You physically saw him with his clipboard out. I'm hoping the guy actually realizes that the stairs are there. Um, I remember when we used to do the firewalks in buildings because we used to do that every Thursday on Presswitch Estate. I can't name the actual estate, so I'm calling it Presswitch Estate. We, me and Baxter, used to walk around and we only used the stairs, we didn't use the elevators. And we'd go from north to west and then east to south. Um, and we're that way around the campus and we use each stairwell making sure you could actually get up and down them so you knew the stairs actually were viable um very tiring because you don't use the elevators so it's just to make sure that you're confident for the matter of fact that you can actually get up and down those stairs if you need to the way i look at it i don't like doing those type of jobs it's very occasional but when you do actually have to go and do these, because they have to have someone cover it, um, you're not thinking about, oh, this is this company negligible? You're thinking, if my family was in this building, how would they get out? That's, that's how I think about it. But I don't take it personal when they make mistakes. I just write the issue down on paper and go, hey, look, this extinguisher's out of date. Oh, this is out of date. I've never actually seen... No, I have, I have. I've seen an old extinguisher under a sink by chance that they thought they got rid of when they got the new one. And I was tempted to write, but then I said, if you have a functioning extinguisher that's in date and you've just been storing one that's quite evidently been storing, the court would argue in your favour. So I'm not going to write it just to have you go through that hassle. You know, you made every intent to do the right thing. I can see you did. And someone clearly just messed up. Now, yeah, if if someone wanted to be a hard ass on you, they have every right to write you up for an expired distinguisher, but I see the argument of, well, there's already one working there in the room. They don't need two in the room. Storage. Mistake. Etc. Because bear in mind, getting a write-up in some buildings, it shuts them down. It does actually. Um, this building would have actually considered shutting that area down as a kitchen. Um, for a write-up. I can't name the building, but certain laws for certain types of buildings do that. Although I'm probably naming it if someone was really interested enough to look into this. But anyway, that's the point. I'm going to get off the fire extinguisher topic now. I'm going to go back to the game. I have been doing stuff in the background, just watching, and I do see this can't find food complaint. It's all in this one building. I have a feeling here. I want to check on that gut instinct. Is there any restrictions here? No. What I'm going to do 
We have an overnight team that cooks. So from 4 a.m. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 cooks from 4 a.m. And their job is going to be to fill these up in advance. Okay. There isn't one chef in this building. Which is mind-blowing to me. Clearly we don't have enough chefs. So I'm going to go from 10am now. Okay. And we might have to... <clears throat> go in and uh, redo all these buildings. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Give me a second guys and we're going to quickly do that. Oh I forgot. I have to dismiss all these. Unless I can... 200 employees I've just fired. Okay. Let them all disappear off that list quickly. All the time. Okay. Dismissed. Do me a favor, go home. Thank you. Right. Give me a second, guys, and I'll be back with you in a sec. I don't think I realized how complex it would be to add all these buildings to the group when they're all linked together. Because if I was to say, oh, select this entire building, selects the entire site. Um, but I've managed it. They're all grouped together. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do what I like to nickname survey. And we're going to go building to building. We're going to work out what they need. Now this one needs receptionists and one guard. So I need one, two, three, four receptionists. And I'm going to do it around the clock, right? So from 100, we'll have four receptionists. And then from 04, oops, sorry, 04. I don't think it realizes it's 04. All right, um, we'll do four receptionists. I might as well because it's already open. Let's see if it recognizes the time. Yeah, it does. Okay, from 12. Okay, pause time, don't take my uh, typing as an input game. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Right, from 100 now, I'm going to hire two guards for this building. And then another two, and then another two. Okay, and at 100, we've got a cleaner. And then another one. And then at eight. Another one. This definitely makes a bit of a comp. You know what I'm going to do? I know it makes it complex. So I'm going to get rid of the 0400, 04. So from 8 o'clock up until this one here. Okay. And then that way I can save a bit of money on this lot. So from. Let's say 0600 just feasibility. Okay, and then you two are from 10. And you're from 14. Okay. And I'll just quickly click it up to that. Okay. So then the next one I need to do is going to be 18. But I need to set 14 so I don't change this. Right. Okay. 18. Bingo. And we'll do that at 22, like so. And then I'll hire two maintenance, two IT for that. Okay, so that's this one building. Oh, this is going to take all day. Reception building. Okay, how many people have we got hired there? 32 staff for reception. Okay, I'm going to hire three for this in security. Right. Okay, hire uh, three guards to start. Okay, I'll start at 100. And I'll also hire two cleaners, two maintenance, two IT, and they're all for the, you know, midnight onwards shift. They're only doing it for that reasoning. Ow! <laughs> I'm sure you all heard what I just did, but let's just say it hurt like hell because it's a solid metal mic. I went to move my hand and, uh. Oh, I've actually cut myself. <laughs> Okay, that's um, a bit stupid, but there you go. Oh, I'll live. Right, um, oh, shoot. <laughs> I did it again. Oh, God. 
Let's move the mic there. It's because I'm reaching to hit the zero, which I should be using non cap really, but I'm an idiot. Two more, uh, three more guards, sorry. New receptionist. Three more guards. You lot start 08. Okay. Two cleaners, two maintenance, two IT. Six cooks. If my understanding's right. Yeah. And then from 12 onwards. I'm hoping that hasn't changed you. It did change you down. I have another two cleaners come in. Also, another six cooks, like so. And then again, here, but we'll do from. I, I need that to stop moving on. I hire one more cook quickly. Uh, do that. I'm using numcap now, so I'm kind of hand eye coordinating this into play. Okay. That looks like more than six. Oh, it's because the cleaners. It's the cleaners. Messing my blooming head that. Right. Um, two more maintenance, two more IT, two more cleaners. Okay. And then at midnight, we'll have the midnight shift. So I'll have four cleaners, two maintenance, two IT. Okay. You're all at midnight. Right. And then I'm going to hire two, three, three security guards for that shift. But I've already got security, I believe. Yep. This one's out of play. So I need these guys to be for 1600 and then... The 100, okay. So I need 0800, correction. Three. Okay, 0800, like so. Right, and then from there to there, sign to the game's studio. Tedious. Um, how many cooks does this building need? It needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So I'll do eight of each thing I need for this entire building because it's big enough that I think eight of each thing of each shift would be feasible. So we'll do four security guards for over here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Check that's right. Yep. And then we'll do that's eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then for these we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the reason I'm doing that is because these guys are gonna be for 12 o'clock. Okay, one, two, three, four. And there for the 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's fine, that now. And then we'll just have a nighttime cleaning shift that is the screen, like so. And maintenance halfway up. And then IT for the rest of the way. Okay. And then at night, I'm going to look at security quickly, but I think I've only done one shift so far. I did four. Okay. One, two, three, four. And another four. Right. I'm only counting out loud, so I hear it aloud and then can think from what I've written. Okay. Do that. Right. And now we're finally getting into that area of not having to do too much hard work now. So that's that done. I'm going to skip ahead now. But over here, I am going to hire two guards for this building. Two cleaners, two maintenance. But it's going to have a, an around the clock idea. Two guards, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Over 100. 100, 800, wait, right, okay, so there's our security shift for this building, so I'm going to sign them already, this is battery building that they're working at, okay, and I'm going to hire, two, three, four, six, eight, one, 
content. Okay, all of you are working for battery. Um, and how this is going to work is, I'm going to have you be the O100. You be O4. You're O8. You're 12. You're 16. You're 20. Right. And then we repeat that. So we've got two of these on at any time. And that should, in theory, be most of the work done. So I'm going to skip ahead to when I've done all this. Okay, so I just spent the best part of God knows how long doing all the buildings and all their new staff. I'm a bit curious to see if we're using less or more. I'm <laughs> doing 50 people more. Ouch, I feel it in the pockets already. Okay, you six are all complaining of not having any workstations. Um, these are called stoves, guys. If I'll indulge, I'll indulge, and we'll do that. I wonder if the room might be at fault, meaning they don't know it's a canteen necessarily. We'll, we'll try a few things there and we'll see if that resolves the issues. Okay. So six cooks can't find a fridge. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't read the sentence and yeah, that makes sense. Right. Um, instead of doing that, I'd do them hidden in here. Yeah, kind of took them away in there maybe. Should work. Well, it would if these rooms were combined. So you've got you guys have got fridges now. Those are called fridges, guys. Unable to find a stove. Can I hire chefs for this building? Please tell me I didn't. This is a headache already. Right. Reception building type of job there's no chefs for this building so who who are you trying to so confused have you gone over there to sit down or i don't follow the the crux of the problem can i view which team you're on no right My understanding is these fridges are just too far away. Um, what I'm going to do in an unseen change of planning, I'm going to rearrange this area. Okay. I'm going to move these there. And in fact, what I'm going to do, we're going to convert these rooms at some point to make this a bit more appealing in view because it just looks terrible right now. And the fact that we've got rid of our sinks is absolutely not jiving well with me right now. Definitely not the happiest man alive. So don't, don't say hashtag, I, I didn't like the sink because I did. <laughs> and I'll be crying. I won't be crying, but I'll definitely be. I'm gonna get a fact how to get rid of the sink too. He's a broken system of the game. <laughs> Saying that, the dev could probably do with making a better fridge. There might actually be one out there. I'd kind of hope there is, but probably ain't. Okay. Let those. Please don't tell me who's left it has. Right, um. The way I'm gonna do this is that. And then furniture, colour. White. 
white, white. Okay. And I'm gonna color that in. Okay. Employees not having their social needs met. Mm. Oh. Here is it. I don't even get it. Okay. Cadwell's associates needs pushing out today, so there you go. Print as many as you want for the next, say, 30 seconds. Give it a 5,000 in marketing budget. 3D research is done. It's good to see. Get the pattern on that done. Okay. Cadwell's Golf and Phoenix can both stop being marketed now. Phoenix Fox is on its way out. This is probably needs to go up there. And they look all fine. Right. Got most profitable, I'll give it that. Okay. <laughs> well, these are being used up quite quickly. Um, well, <laughs> it's gonna happen, it, it was bound to happen, and I'm not too surprised, I guess. But then again, I am. Honestly. It looks like we're producing enough food to keep up for change. Okay. So we need like a walking closet thing, really, with <laughs> just fridges, so that we are always on top. Because look at this, end of the day. Seven and five in food left. That's nothing. You know, I don't know about over here yet. About to find out. Uh, yeah, we'll counter that. We'll counter that. Um, what I'm going to have a look at quickly is if we have anyone that's a lead that wants to take royalties. Nope. And neither of them want to do phones anyway. At least that's what I was seeing there. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to use my noggin here. I'm going to look for a phone designer. Who's the popularest phone? You are? Who made it? Claudia Russell. Claudia Russell would want IP though. Okay. Hmm. We'll give it a bit. We'll give it a bit. Right, you're done. That's... Oh, I get it, I get it. It wants to put another builder. That needs doing, really. So I'll get that out of the way. Phoenix box is almost updated. Come on, guys, get that done. And that's being done as we speak. Okay. Right, the pattern's on its way. Um... Okay, I think a new Mafia is going to be needed, and we'll have it on automation in a few minutes. Right, well, we'll do that for next episode, because we've done that many management tasks today that I think if we do any more management tasks, it's just going to be tedious at best. I do like seeing all the employees coming in. It is pretty cool to see. Even if it's a bit insane. Okay. Getting many offers late. Oh shoot. I just realized something. Remember that thing I said I was printing? <gasps> Could be kidding me. Uh, that is the most expensive DLC we've ever made. Both of these are hosting and they're offering at a standard rate. See, uh, CBW. Current bandwidth usage. Okay, and then maximum bandwidth usage. It won't ever be able to beat our bandwidth abilities. 
It's never happened to me yet. I've actually run out of space on a server this big. I mean, look at the load. Yeah, it's, it's never happened in that. I'm a bit curious to see what we're making money on. Licenses, sales, okay. Marketing's costing us a boatload and distribution is as well. Though I'd be willing to gamble that that was me. Night shift compensation, yeah, that sounds fair. And a million in idle salaries. Yeah, we'll amend that at some point. That is definitely something we want to do. The bonus pack here is ready to be marketed, so I'm going to put it out like so. Phoenix box is updated. This needs to get a wiggle on, really. So I'm going to assign this to Avengers as well and hope that they can help out. I mean, what exactly is taking so long with super optimization again? Right, okay. We might have to do some overhauls on our teams and stuff at some point in the later 2000s indeed. Right now though I think we're fine. I feel like a clean slate at some point though is absolutely needed. Could you imagine that if we purged the entire company? What do you guys think? Should we do that in some episode? Do an entire purge? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay. To be fair, it started in September, so it's going to take about a year round circle to develop, technically. So that sounds feasibly reasonable. I can see how that would make a reasonable argument here. All these complaints, because I've been ignoring them, but... Unable to find a fridge. Is it they're all out of stock? Because if they all are, I know they restock at night, so that's the annoying bit. I reckon they were. Right, we'll deal with that in a moment. Uh, which product lost sales? You did. Um, it's 14,000, so I'll order 10 times that. I'm just ordering it. Okay, so the chefs are unable to find a fridge. I don't get this. Where? These empty? Oh, it's because they... They all want their own fridge. Ay ay ay. We'll deal with that when we do our walk-in closet. It's fine. It's fine and we'll deal with that. But with that said, anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy this episode as always as well. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the episode as well. I hope you enjoyed the idea of just how the company works, all those people that keep those cogs turning. Since day one, we had like one cleaner and now we have 250 people you know, that turn the cogs. But anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching, goodbye.